Hi, my name is Yasu from Japan, and in my video, I drink sake and I introduce it, into, <laughs> introduce it both in Japanese and English. And then, you know, while drinking sake, I talk something about Japan and English. And today I'm drinking this sake from Nagano Prefectures in Japan. Nagano Prefecture is somewhere in Japan. I, I forgot where it's located. Um, the name of the sake breweries is Wakabayashi Jozo and the name of the sake is called Tsukiyoshi no. It's Shiro Jumai Daiginjo sake and then the rice that they use to make this Japanese sake is Biyama Nishiki. Tsuki means moon, so maybe this represent, represents moon, I guess. But we'll see how this sake is gonna taste like. I personally love sake from Nagano prefectures. And as always, like I drink sake with my special Japanese glass, which is from Kagami Kueso. So let's see how this sake is gonna taste like. Cheers. The first way is smell. It's, it's very fruity, really sweet, fruity sweet smell. And then the flavor is, very nice. Um, so at first I can taste and enjoy the rice flavor, but it disappears right away. And it, it leaves a very fruity flavor, very clean, it's a, it's, this is a very high quality sake. I like this sake. It's very enjoyable, like the first taste in a rich flavor of rice. Then I, I believe it's a Biyama Nishiki, but it disappears and then it leaves a very clean feelings with a very fruity flavor, but it's not too fruity. So if you ever wonder, you know, how to enjoy Japanese culture, my recommendation is drink sake. And this is definitely one of the ways to enjoy Japanese culture. And if you're looking for, there's just way too many sake options. So if you're looking for something fruity, but you still want to enjoy the rich uh, rice flavor, but very clean aftertaste then this Tsuki Yoshino from Nagano Prefecture, the Wakabayashi Jozo. I really recommend you to try. And then also like Nagano you know prefectures, they have like the population is like um two million and then two hundred twenty nine people as of April first, two thousand twenty two this year. However, compared to YOI they have lost 2064 people it sounds not that bad but something happens in April usually the one number is too low on average like why or why they lose uh, 150,000 people and then as you might be aware that Japan is really facing the population declining so now the border is open let's come to Japan Enjoy sake, Tsuki Yoshino, and then support Nagano prefectures and also support Japan. So, speaking of which, um, the border is open for the international and foreign tourists. And officially, uh, it's going to be happening uh, from next month, June. However, 
there are like a few hundred people who would be allowed to Japan and then see how it goes. This is really a test run for the government, but that was actually happening in this month already. One way or another, which is really a good thing because that means that Japan is actively, aggressively trying to find a way to make things okay, which means that they want to collect more da data, they don't want to set up the proper you know, systems to welcome foreign and international travelers to Japan. More data, more time, and more ways for them to consider, and then they want to implement starting from June, and then they want to expand. And in, in this video, I want to let you know two things. What I'm right about border openings for the international travelers, and then more specifically, more importantly, what I am wrong about uh, border is for the international travelers because over the past a few months, um, I actually talked about border openings for foreigners, like the international students, uh, foreign workers, and then the tourists and everything, and then I'm right about certain things, but at the same time, I'm wrong about certain things. So let's get to what I'm wrong about, you know, what I have said about the international travelers. Um, here's the thing, it's happening this month, means that the uh, those selected a few hundred uh, overseas international foreign travelers who wants to come to Japan, they will be allowed to enter this month. And then this is what I was wrong about it because originally, like over in a few videos, I kept saying that most likely this is gonna be happening. Like international travelers and the foreigners can foreign travelers can come to Japan probably this summer after elections, which is gonna take place in this Japan, specifically July 10th. And the election is very important to Japanese government. So I kept mentioning that most likely that foreign uh, foreign travelers, international travelers can enter Japan from this summer. I was wrong. I guess I really underestimated Japanese government and at the same time, their astrology for the upcoming elections, but which is a good thing. Those selected of you know uh, foreign travelers, they will be entering Japan this month, and then officially, officially, foreign travelers, international travelers can start entering Japan next month, June. What I underestimated Japanese government or astrology for the election was that I really thought that they wouldn't really take any risks to put them jeopardized to lose some seats in this upcoming elections. That is why I thought they want to become very conservative. So like I thought they were going to stand with saying that, oh, we are not going to open the borders yet because we think uh, Japan, Japanese people first. This is the right way to do so and right after the elections they changed everything i thought that was what's gonna happen however what they do what they're doing right now is much more clever and i actually have learned a lot so um For them to allow international travelers even from this month and officially from next month is a very clever way to uh, get more supports from all our, you know, from different segments of people. Because think, they're under the pressures from domestic certain people and they also oversee um, governments and everything that open Japan. Please allow international travelers to Japan. That's what we do, means other countries. 
there are only uh, only a few countries who don't do it like uh, Japan, China, and I believe Taiwan. But that's why they came up with this one. They're gonna do the test run this month with a few under you know selected people, and they will do so a little bit more in June, and then the other elections and everything. Everything is gonna start next month so the Japanese government the Jiminto that's the majority party they can actually claim and say that oh we are trying our best and we actually welcome international travelers foreign tra travelers this month look and we're trying to uh, you know find a way to uh, ease more and then they can actually get the supports and the votes from those people who were so against the uh, current government because they didn't open the borders. They haven't opened the borders. But in June, officially, it's going to be open. So most likely, like, they get supports and then, like, uh, agreements from those people and then those people most likely will vote for Jiminto, the majority party because they want the governments to uh, push the ease they want to you know open the borders with no limitations and regulations and it, by then the government would be showing the efforts and everything so why do those people want to change you know their minds to support other parties because even like the current party you know the japanese government is doing so at the same time <laughs> they can always you know tell their supporters who did not want the governments to open the borders for the international travelers they can say that look we are only doing this under the very controlled environment. We assure you that this is not going to affect your health. This is gonna, this is not going to affect. This is not going to threaten your health, and then this is not going to affect you at all. And at the same time, you enjoyed the big holiday. And then you went troubled, you enjoyed a long holiday, which is called the Golden Week in Japan. And then look what happened. Nothing happened. You enjoyed. Everything went back to normal. So, don't you agree that it's time for us to go back to normal and welcome the international travelers? But as a government who wants to put you first, we do this in a very controlled manner. And now, of course, they feel supported and then appreciated by the Japanese government. So they will most likely vote the, the majority party, Jiminto. I forgot the name of that party in English. I didn't see that coming. And then when I realized that when the, the Prime Minister Kishida actually announced that they will, you know, that Japan would open the borders, that idea came to me and then you know, people, they're clever. <laughs> so I really learned a lot. So this was something that I was wrong about it. So I wanted to really address and then I just, I want to apologize to you guys that I was wrong. I made a mistake. And now let me say uh, what I was right about this, which is that I kept saying that um, the first people who would be uh, able to come to Japan as a, with tourist visa, um, would be those people um, on the tour to Japan and he's really confirmed everything so that those are test run this month and then in June 
the international travelers, the foreign travelers who will be on a small size uh, tour to Japan, they will be uh, able to enter Japan. This is something that I talked about um, a few times in the uh, videos in the past. So I'm, I was right about this part, but I was so wrong about the timing. Yeah, but nobody can see that future, so I'm happy that I was half right. And then uh, I'm trying to and hope to get more information and the data to improve the accuracy of my guess in the future. So I guess um, that's all. So the border is going to be open even for the international travel as soon. So I hope to see you guys in Japan and welcome to Japan and please do not forget to uh, drink sake when you come to Japan and if you don't drink alcohol then enjoy food enjoy the culture spend more money in con this country especially right now because Japanese in is really really weak so with the same amount of money that I use, spent, let's say, four years ago in Japan, now you can enjoy more. So, I hope to see you in my next video. So, for now, jane.